Hey guys, thanks for checking out another episode of Dirt Road Therapy. Since I unfortunately won't be attending Easter Jeep Safari this year, here's a recap from 2023. And man, did we have some awesome trail rides and adventures last year. I was in Moab for over a week and either on a trail ride or helping out tread lightly every one of those days. So make sure you're subscribed because this is going to be broken up into several different parts coming out over the next couple weeks. One of the first things I had the opportunity to do was help tread lightly stage all of these fence posts for volunteers to come the following day and build fences around dinosaur tracks that are fossilized in the rocks out along this trail. These kind of projects are super important because they help keep sensitive areas like this protected so that they can remain open for all types of recreation for years to come. If you're not involved with Tread Lightly, you should really consider becoming a member because as you may have seen, a lot of these areas out west are under threat of closure from bureaucracies like the EPA wanting to shut these areas down for motorized travel. And I don't know about you, but I would like to be able to take my kids out here to enjoy these areas someday and to be able to take my 4x4 back there with all the comforts and even be able to camp in some of these areas too. I was able to snap a few really cool pictures of the Quadratech JTE, which is this custom vehicle that they're using to actually haul these fence posts out to the project site. Along the way, one of the BLM vehicles was actually a little bit too close to the edge of the trail and got himself in a bit of a predicament. The JTE is equipped with a rear winch, and how often do you get to use one of those? So, of course, we just back that up, use the rear winch, to help him forward and back onto the trail. Our main concern was just because the vehicle was so top heavy with the extra fence posts up on top of that crack. The ground was very soft and easily crumbled, which could have led to a rollover. Thankfully, with all of the experience of everyone involved, we were able to get him back up onto the trail safely with no issue. This is a good example of one of the dinosaur footprint fossils that we're trying to preserve.
pre-volunteer volunteers had a great time and got everything staged and ready for the next group. This gives you an idea of the type of fences that they were installing and building out of the fence posts that we staged. Following day, I got to ride along in the Torque Masters LJ on the Skyjacker Suspensions Ambassador ride. And this year was on the Steel Bender Trail. This is such a fun ride because as you'll see, there are a ton of familiar faces of people that you've seen all across the industry. And Skyjacker being one of the oldest industry names knows a lot of people and they bring some of the best of the industry together for this ride. You're about to see some of the coolest rigs out there conquer a pretty technical trail here with some of the most amazing scenery in Moab. By the way guys, most of the people that watch this video aren't going to be subscribed and I would really appreciate you helping me reach a goal that I've set for 2024 of hitting 10,000 subscribers. I know it's a big goal, but I think we can do it because we more than doubled subscribership over the past year and it would take not much more than that to get us to 10,000 before we hit 2025. So if you want to help out, smash the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell, share a video, all that good stuff, and I think we can do this this year. Tire spinning?
<laughs> leaf springs? <laughs> That's it for this time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, this is gonna be broken into a few parts and there is a ton of more awesome content. There's a ton of more awesome trails and adventures ahead. So please make sure you're subscribed, check back soon, and we'll have more Moab adventure coming. Here are a few pictures that I got from the Skyjacker ride. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time.